Organized labor has knocked the federal government for releasing a 180 billion naira palliative package to states to cushion the impact of the fuel subsidy removal. As far as the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC of Nigeria, are concerned, governors could not be trusted, noting that politicians and not the poor will benefit from the 5 billion naira largesse to be given to each state for disbursement to the citizens. Are you smiling, right? Well, I, 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 I don't know. This palliative thing has gone from one phase to the other. First it was 8,000. Then at the point we had about 10,000 buses to be distributed. Now 5 billion to the each states. state. So, and I wonder why, the, why, why it was a flat figure. I don't know if it was agreed at NEC, the National Economic Council, that would be a flat figure <clears throat> because the challenges in terms of subsidy removal are not the same mm. for all the states. Yes. The challenges in Lagos are different from the challenges in, in Borno, for instance. Standard of living values. You can't, the way you see the governor of Borno sharing rice to mm. people, you won't you know, expect someone who, for instance, to sit people and be giving them bags of rice. The challenges are different. I think, like in Lagos, if there are buses powered by CNG, enough buses powered by CNG, I mean, already the buses you have, the BRC buses are actually helping a lot in terms of moving thousands of people every day. Mm -hmm. So if they are now powered by CNG, in addition to the expected conversion, you know, the expected introduction of electric buses, I don't know if they've been introduced, but if you put CNG buses and electric powered buses side by side in yeah. a place like Lagos, I think it will significantly bring down the, the tension. Yeah. But in some other places, maybe a state like Benue, that they need these vehicles to move farm produce and all of that, it might be a totally different scenario. So I understand that today NEC has set up a committee to liaise with labor on areas, on areas of disagreement. But I would like to just quickly say that in my state, for instance, Anambra. Yes, the governor approved the distribution of oil palm and coconut seedlings from the state. But do I tell you that people, leaders of the ruling party, ABGA, or Progressive Grand Alliance, they diverted these things to in their Anambra. members. Yes, to their members. I even challenged some of their officials. Now, what do you mean? Is this not. Well, this is not bought from the money belonging to the state. And for the people. And for the people. By the way, how much is this, are these ceilings? 1,005. So is it that you people, is, that, I mean, you cannot is exercise sense of reason, reasoning that just something, two ceilings of 3,000 naira, you now turn into a party affair. So I can imagine what such people will do with 5 billion naira coming to Anambra mm. State. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Jiti, just before we come to you, I, I hear we are going on a commercial break. We should be back very shortly. Please stay with us. In today's world, our lifestyle, both at work and at play, depends on connectivity. Our connectivity depends on the devices that make it possible, and these devices depend on electric power. When power fails, 
our life shrinks, our work drops, and our joy dips. JRB Solar Energy Systems are here to ensure that we enjoy uninterruptible power, uninterruptible joy. Whether you're running a business, an institution, or just a home, you return daily to rest. JRB has got you covered. No project is too big for our super digital inverters, long-lasting batteries, and efficient solar panels. Go. Dream on. Change your world. JRB Solar Inverters, Batteries, Solar Panels, Solar Streetlights and more. Telephone 0906 752 Email sales at jrbsolar.com. With JRB, the sun's gonna shine on everything you do. Welcome back. Yeah, Jide, your take on quickly on the I, subject matter. I share the fears of uh, labor about some of our governors. Um, the experience in the past does not make one comfortable. We, 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 we play politics with virtually everything. everything. That's true. There's no reason, for example, to keep these relatives only for party members. Everyone feels the pinch of uh, this uh, subsidy, for subsidy removal. So whatever states will do must cut across political, religious divides. If we can't do that and do it successfully, then we have a bunch of irresponsible governors. People have genuine fears that, these people, that they will be able to do it dispassionately without looking at where these people come from. Once we talked about throwing money almost at everything. Yeah, but dude, this is not simply throwing money at everything. There are times when you need to spend money to get your country out of recession. In fact, I remember... Um, Obama saying we shall spend ourselves out of recession. And he committed so much money to infrastructure development. And that gave people jobs, construction sites all over the place. And people had money in their pockets, you know? So you can spend money to actually get out of recession. Mm -hmm. We've seen it with the, Amer the, Amer we've seen the American example. Now our people are in pains. There is no reason to, in the first place, we should have made plans mm. for some of what we were just doing now. We should have done them earlier, before even the removal of subsidy. Perhaps we didn't know that it would inflict this level of pain on our people. Yeah. So at this time, distributing grains from the strategic uh, grain reserve will go a long way if it is dispassionately done. will go a long way in easing the pains of a lot of our people. So there's nothing wrong in taking money out of what we have saved. If we were able to save a lot of money uh, from FAC this last, uh, last month, we can spend some of that money to try to cushion the effects of this of the, it of meaningfully. Our, yes, let it go to the people who need it the most. Mm -hmm. It's not for some politicians to corner some of this thing and ensure that it can only get to their own people. We saw what happened during the COVID um, era. You know, Ajero and Co are referring to it. But uh, the, the problem in referring to this is that you assume that it's the same yeah, government that yeah, is still in power. It. You know, people are not bound to repeat what their predecessors, uh, the message their predecessors made. So uh, the point that I'm making is we have to do our best to make sure that this gets to the poorest of the poor because they are the ones who need the level of inflating that this can yeah. give us. Yeah. You know, not the, not the people who are already rich. Mm. But at the end of the day now, I'm sure by the time, they, because the government is present to buy grains, and give to people from this money. People are hungry. So it's not simply, oh, very cool. No, at this time, that you, if you buy grains and you distribute to people, you discover that some people don't even know. As late as 6 p.m. on some days, some people have not eaten anything. Yeah. You know? So if you buy grains 
and give to the very poor in the society, it will make some difference. They will, they will be happy. So we don't know for how long this... Uh, we've been told that after a while, these things will stabilize and all that. But before then, we have to help our people to survive these very difficult uh, times. And governors must fear God. I remember President Buhari saying that uh, sometimes he asks himself, how does governor sleep? Mm. Because realizing that you've not paid people two months, three months salary, and you are still able to move around. I see able to move around like nothing has happened. Something is wrong with you. Come on. You've got to find a way. If there are governors today with what they are earning, still unable to pay salaries, then we know that Something those ones have simply made up their minds that they don't want to pay. Or, yeah. they, or, or they are just deeply rooted in, in mismanagement of funds that, that, that uh, they can't sort out the very important things. So I hope that having had what Labour said, having had the concerns uh, of Labour, they will make up their minds that, look, we are going to disappoint Labour. Yeah. We are going to do this in a way that goes At least disappoint Labour until you see for once. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Emeka and Jide, uh, let me tell them that <coughs> a billion naira is a million in a thousand places. And... Uh, Five billion to any state is oh, it's significant. A billion, it's significant. A, a billion times a thousand times five. That's for and the states are not the same. Some are small, not, some yeah, are big. Yeah.